There's a couple of very good layer one technologies like Solana, Ethereum, and Avalanche that we believe are going to be the future of tokenization. And so we made a big bet on this uh, alongside of Hivemind and the Avalanche Foundation. And uh, we're going to have a digital asset treasury for Avalanche. It's a smaller token in terms of market cap relative to the bigger ones. Uh, but lots of big corporate CTOs, Andrew, are picking up Avalanche as part of their story to tokenize their funds or potentially even tokenize right. their stocks. We just talked about BlackRock and, and, and Visa yeah. as examples yeah. of JP that. JP Morgan. And are they using that instead of Solana or Ethereum? No, I think, I think well, we believe in a multi-chain world, but I think what's interesting about Avalanche, they have something called subnets so that you can do some customization on the chain through the, the contract layering on the, on the token. So uh, it, it allows for people to sort of have their own digital fingerprint. I often say that Avalanche is like a Swiss army knife of layer one, so it's got a lot of flexibility. So today, Let's talk about Avalanche or AVAX. Now, Avalanche is a layer one blockchain, very much like Ethereum. And it began in September of 2020. Now, this blockchain, guys, I'll have you know, is very powerful. I think within its chain, it is divided into three subnets. And these three subnets individually can be customized to do different things individually. Now, I'm not gonna go into details for the sake of time and it gets way too technical. This, this is just a rough uh, review of uh, what they're currently doing, basically. Now, the price of Avalanche at the time of uh, this recording is uh, $34, I think. And uh, it, has a market cap of uh, 14.5 billion, I think. Yes, 14.5 billion dollars. And it is number 13 on coin market cap. That is very impressive, as a matter of fact. But not at all surprising. Now, uh, its all time low was $2, and the all time high was uh, $146, I think. And in my opinion, this token is incredibly undervalued. And as a matter of fact, in the video that I just recently made about uh, coins that will go to $1,000 and over, this avalanche should have been in that video. But it wasn't added for the sake of time because the video would be way too lengthy. Now, so if we check out the, uh, the charts on avalanche, we can see that it, it, it looks as if it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's going to retest that $50 area. That's where it's heading, guys. It looks like it's getting ready to break out. And next stop is $50 from where it is at, where it's currently at. So it looks good so far. And especially if, we, if the markets in general start to uh, get a bullish momentum, we can expect it to explode to its all-time high in no time easily especially with all of these news that are good news that are coming out for this token and what they're accomplishing now guys just recently this company that was listed on nasdaq i think it was called agriforce i think that was the name that it had before the rebranding agriforce and it was a uh, agriculture technology company Yes, they specialize in agriculture technology. They had just recently rebranded completely to the name AVAX1. And this is because they intend to uh, refocus all of their assets, all of their money into investing in the blockchain technology. And more specifically to invest in the avalanche blockchain guys and AVAX tokens. Now, this is unprecedented. This is a huge move. You see, this I expect to not only be the first, but just the beginning of what will continuously be a switch in the financial sector and all sectors to the blockchain guys. So this is the first 
a company that has been listed with NASDAQ uh, to pull off this move, to switch from what they were doing and to focus on something else entirely. This has never been done before. And this is only just the beginning of this kind of conversion because everything is going digital. Now, this AgriForce, or currently now known as AVAX One company, is getting ready to raise, I think it's around 550 million, they said, with which they're going to uh, reinvest in the, uh, or on rather the Avalanche project, and more specifically, to invest in AVAX and to purchase AVAX tokens. So this company has gone all in in uh, investing exclusively in this uh, Avalanche project on the Avalanche blockchain. And I imagine that many others are going to follow suit. Now, AVAX has a proof of stake consensus mechanism as opposed to the proof of work. In my opinion, the proof of stake is much more efficient and faster. Now, Avalanche has around $6.2 billion worth of assets that is staked on its network for security. So here we see that it has a very strong army of validators to enable very smooth and time efficient uh, transactions. So this blockchain is very fast and I imagine that it's much faster than uh, Ethereum. And it's quite obvious that it's more efficient also than Ethereum, much more cheaper because if any of you guys have had any uh, experiences with you know, sending uh, anything on the Ethereum chain, you guys uh, already know how expensive the price of uh, Ethereum gas fees can get, you know, whenever it fluctuates. But yeah, for some of the latest news on this Avalanche uh, project, recently uh, South Korea has launched their first one backed uh, stablecoin. I think it's called KWR1. And they've chosen the Avalanche blockchain to run their stablecoin on. This is again, another very huge move, guys. This is very, very big for Avalanche because South Korea has decided to run their stablecoin exclusively on this blockchain. And it must have been proven to be very, very efficient and capable for them to, to do this. Okay, so this is a multi-billion dollar project with a lot of big players staking millions and even billions of dollars in this project already. And it, it hasn't even started progressing yet. We're still early. Now, regardless of what I'm saying here, even concerning this, uh, this token, th this coin rather, what I've said in previous videos applies also with this coin. In the case of Bitcoin tumbling, hardly any coin is immune from a Bitcoin crash. So it could tumble with Bitcoin, you see, but if Bitcoin doesn't tumble further, you can most definitely expect this coin to do excellent. But just keep that in mind that if Bitcoin starts to tumble, if you decide to invest currently, you have to be patient and to wait throughout the dips. So as long as you have patience and you don't mind riding out the dips, the lows, and you're considering investing in this token, then you'll be fine. So now onto some other news. This coin or this project has also launched their own Visa debit card, both virtual and physical. Now the virtual card, you would use it via your smartphone and you can use it to pay for goods. Uh, using the tap method, tap and pay method, or you can also order the physical Visa card and have them send it to your address. And in terms of uh, adoption and utility, it doesn't get much better than that because that's what we all want. You see, we want to be able to use to spend our cryptocurrency in the real world. And they have gone way ahead. And this has been for a, a while now, I think they have done this. So in terms of progress, this project is doing very well. And I imagine it's going to be very big in the future, even just as we've heard it 
reported on the news, on that news clip. So guys, this is my short, very short review on Avalanche or AVAX. I've only brought it to your attention so that you may be aware that this blockchain is very powerful, it is very capable. And also to give you some ideas of what they're currently accomplishing, what they're doing, so that you may uh, make the decision whether or not you will consider to invest in this project, whether currently or in the future. Personally, I stand with what I've been telling you guys. I'm not going into any blue chips currently. I'm positioning myself into the prophetic tokens, the prophetic meme coins currently. The time for blue chips as for myself is not yet. That time is coming later. So this is my stance. You see, you are completely free to do whatever you choose to do. So with all that said, that's all I'm going to say concerning this very powerful uh, blockchain avalanche. You guys take very good care of yourselves. Peace. Shalom. Until next time.